Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. So if you know anything about the Pixel Lab, you know that we love our volumes over here. We have an entire collection of thousands of VDBs at this point. We have volumes for fire, smoke, uh, explosions, portals, plumes, and lots of clouds. So one thing I've gotten asked a lot is if you can bring your VDBs into After Effects. And I didn't think you could, but there is a plugin that you can import them with. One of my followers named Andrew Galloway pointed this out to me, so huge shout out to Andrew. All right, so this is gonna use a plugin called Stardust, and it's a particle system for After Effects, and it's created by Superluminal. You can also get it on AE Scripts. I'll put a link below. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not getting any kickbacks or anything. This is a paid plugin. It's about $250, but it has a lot of really great features, so I think it'll be money well spent. All right, so once you install it, let's go into After Effects, and I'm gonna create a new solid. We'll hit OK, and I'm going to add an effect. It's under um, Superluminal Stardust. And it's going to make an emitter and a particle to start with. We're just going to delete those. And under the presets, let's click here. And we have a bunch of preset folders. Let's click on this volume folder. And there's a volume VDB preset. We'll hit Add. And you can see that it's added a few things to our scene. It's added a point light, a null, and then a few things uh, in the effects here. So the first thing we're gonna do is replace this plume with one of the clouds from the Pixel Lab. So we'll go to the file properties and twirl that down and under the file path here, I'm going to browse and find one of our clouds. And I'm going to grab this one from our cloud pack one and we'll hit okay. All right, so it's gonna load this cloud here. It's pretty small, but we can change the size here maybe to um, 800 or something, scale it up. All right, if you wanna move this cloud around, there's a couple things you can do. You can go add a new camera, and then you can just move around this cloud with your camera. So we can just move around it. The other thing you can do is use this null and you can move this around. Now the great thing about using these clouds is these are fully three dimensional, so you can actually take your camera and fly around them, which is really great. All right, so it looks pretty flat right now. Let's go to our point light and double click it, and we're gonna turn on cast shadows to give it a bit more definition. All right, so it's starting to look good. Let's add a background that's blue just to simulate a sky so we can see what's going on a little bit better. All right, so right now it's pretty dark and you can change a lot of the settings in the light so we can change the intensity to 200. The rest of the settings we're gonna play with are inside of that uh, VDB. If we go scroll down to the material section, this is where you're gonna change all the settings of the volume. The density amount is probably the biggest one that you need to worry about. If we kick this up to like 75, it's gonna become a lot more dense and you can see that we're getting those really dark shadows. If you want this to be puffier and wispier and see-through, you can just change this to something like 10 and you're gonna get a very light and puffy cloud and already that looks a lot better. So that density amount is very important. Another thing that is important are these shadow densities. So we could change that down to 50 and then you're gonna get um, shadows that are a little bit less intense. So already this cloud is looking really, really nice. You can play around with the brightness and the gamma to adjust some different things. And if you wanted to, you can also play with the emission. If you wanna add a little bit of emission, that's gonna make it even brighter. Um, the other things that you can do is play with these gradients. And if you add a gradient, uh, that's how you're gonna colorize this cloud. So you can colorize these however you want with these uh, gradient ramps, so we'll undo that. And you can also play around with the emission color gradient if you wanna colorize your VDB. So those are the basics of setting up a volume in After Effects, super fun. And remember, this is fully three-dimensional so you can fly around it with your camera. And another great thing is this supports animated sequences. So everything in our store that's like smoke plumes that are animating or ground mist that's slowly rolling through or explosions, those are all gonna work perfectly fine in After Effects. And Andrew sent me a couple uh, examples that he's been working on. And you can see with this example, he has some smoke in front of the soccer player and then he also duplicated it and put it behind the soccer player just with a few clicks and setting this up. You can have some really detailed and pretty intricate animations right in After Effects. I hope you all found that useful and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.